What I was doing was, was trying to support some what we call advanced medical posts, so some small health facilities, um, health centres, to try and be able to manage these injuries and also to start an ambulance service so that the ambulances can bring the injured patients into the health system that, that is existing. Um, apart from Hamia Project, there's also a, a surgical hospital in Sada City run by MSF Spain. So we were, we were trying to link in with them to bring in the, the casualties into the, that project. But it's not even just the casualties. I mean, the problem is that there's really no health system existing um, and that uh, the ambulances uh, were not there. The transport wasn't there. The fuel wasn't there. Um, the roads are, are bombed all the time. So it meant that even people who needed to give birth or had maternity complications or people with malaria just couldn't really access healthcare at all. Um, they could have some very basic healthcare in the health centres, um, but they couldn't. If they needed something more, more extensive, there was nowhere for them to go and no way of them to get there.